Hey there, Stephen Fox Can to Farms. So today I'm going to repack a sealed bearing on our John Deere 430, the front wheel bearings. Okay, so first off, why in the world would you repack a sealed bearing? Well, one reason is a brand new sealed bearing, when it comes from the factory, you know, they seem to last, uh, but eventually it's like you got to replace them again, and they just don't seem to last that long. Well, the reason is they don't put a lot of grease in there, and I'm going to show you that in just a minute. And the other reason is that if you have a sealed bearing that you've used for a while, or you've repacked like I'm going to show you today, um, it still gets dirty in there. Even though it's all sealed up, it still gets dirty in there, and you're going to see that today as well. So. First off, first off, let's take a look at, at a uh, brand new bearing. I've never looked inside this one. Let's pop the seal out and uh, see how much grease or little grease is in there. All you're going to do is take a pick. That's what I find helpful. And you're just going to be very careful and kind of work it down in there. Now, this particular seal, it's a smaller seal here, I'm seeing is easier to pop up. I don't know if that showed up very well in the camera, but all I did was go under there and... And that seal just popped up. And you want to be really careful with this seal because there's a piece of metal on the back side of that. It's within this seal, within the rubber there. And if you bend that when you're popping it out, well, then your seal's bent. Now, I've been able to... They've been pretty forgiving. I've been able to bend it back into place when I have a problem with something like that. Really not too big of an issue, but you want to be careful. So as you're taking it out, uh, with the pick, as you're taking it out, right, what you want to do is maybe pry a little bit, maybe a little bit over there if that's not working, if it looks like it's going to bend, just just try not to bend that seal. Try not to bend that seal. All right, let's take a look here. I want you to take a good look in here. Not much grease in there. So what I like to do is add grease to this and then put the seal back in. Okay, so I do have an example of a brand new sealed bearing here from John Deere. This is going to go on our 111 um, guard, little garden tractor that we're repairing here, redoing the wheel bearing. So here, I just want to show you how um, little grease is in here. Now these have, if memory serves, historically been a little bit better than others. Okay. So again, we're just going to get right on this edge a little bit finer pick here we try to get right between the rubber and the metal there and we're just going to move it a little bit and then pry in hopefully you can see this and then it just pops right up once you get there just pop it out so so you can see here now uh, there's a nice amount of grease here, but there's just nothing here right here. That is why you pop these seals off. So today I'm going to repack a sealed bearing on our John Deere 430, the front wheel bearings. We should be able to just, I should be able to just work it out and pop. There it goes. Okay. Now, again, I want to remind you is this is one that I've already, that I've already, uh, when I installed this brand new, I already added grease to it. And so there's a, a lot more, you can already see there's a lot more grease in there than there was um, in that other one that was brand new that I had found. Okay, so you're going to take your, your grease gun, and I've got a needle on this. And all we're going to do, if I can get this to work right with the camera is you're just going to kind of push it. All I'm doing is trying to follow here, and I'm looking for a spot where it's going to go down in, where I'm not pushing it in forcefully, but it just kind of falls into a hole. And then all I do is pump grease in it. And I keep finding those little spots, and basically I'm shoving the old grease out. At any rate, you can see some of that old grease coming out of there. Okay. And then, then what you can do, so basically you're going to spin it to kind of get that grease going through there. And then I set it side, in order to turn it, I'll set it sideways like this. And then spin it back and forth. 
like that and you can see it spinning and that works the grease in there and then I'll scoop some of that out and then I do it again just to try to clean it out some more this bearing is going to be in better shape than it ever would have been had had we just ran it forever and that's about how much I'll do with it. So just clean up that seal next. Want to make sure that you're not bending that seal. Because again, here's a better shot. You can see that metal in there. This doesn't have to be perfect. It's just making sure there's no dust or dirt in there is what I'm doing. And I had it sitting on the workbench here. So there we go. We're going to take that seal. We're going to put that back in there. All we're going to do is push, push it in. And there we can see some of it popped out because I had a little too much in there. Thought it might be a little too much, but that's all you need to do with your sealed bearings, how to repack your sealed bearings. And again, it's the same process. If you've got a brand new sealed bearing, pop that seal out. Add some grease in there and they'll last you quite a bit longer than they do when you don't do that. Okay, so what I want to do next is I want to try something I've never done before, and that is I'm going to take both the seals out on these. This is a larger bearing, so I'm take them both out, and I'm going to put them into a bearing packer and see if that works. Let's give it a whirl. Hopefully this angle works and I can keep my hands out of the way. It's pushing down. Look at that. What I see there is down at the bottom here. This is the red and tacky coming through. Here's the old grease. And I'm going to tell you, I think that worked really slick. Look at that. Now that is what I call a packed bearing. I'm going to call that a success. Let's get those seals back in there. Um, by golly, here's an example of one, one of my earlier ones. Oh, I'm not sure that's showing up in the light. But see how bent up that seal is? Yeah, that's one of my earlier ones. I made some mistakes on that one. But it has been really forgiving and it's working. So um, this particular one, I happen to remember, went on this side. The bearing, I don't know that matters but I'm going to put it back on the same side all you should have to do is go like this when I did it the first time I thought oh I gotta get that seal pushed in there super hard and and that's why it got all bent up but that is not what you need to do they do not need to be in that hard just push it in with your fingers so there you have it two different ways to pack or repack your sealed bearings I like the bearing packer method. That really worked. That really, really cleaned it out. I like what that did. Um, so decide what works for you. You don't have a bearing packer. You can see that you can do it by hand and you're still going to be better off than that small amount of grease that comes when you buy these, bear these sealed bearings brand new. So make it happen.